Hey, what's up you guys? Here is Giorgio and today I will introduce you Chukbol. Okay, let's start from the name, Chukbol. Chukbol is uh, an onomatopoeic work. The word chuk should remind you the sound that makes the ball when it bounces against the frame. Let's see if it works. That's it. What do we need to play chuk ball? First of all, we need a ball that is a handball ball, then a kind of trampoline that is called frame, something to mark the forbidden zone that is a semicircular area with the diameter of six meters, and of, of course, at least a friend. Officially, chuk ball is played by two teams composed by seven players each. It is played on basketball court with two trampolines at both ends of the field. But it can be also played on the beach, usually five players against five players, or on the grass, or wherever you want. First two ball rule, how to score a point, it's easy. We have to throw the ball against the frame, and make it bounce in the field, like that. That's a point. In case the attacking player missed the frame, throw the ball inside the forbidden zone or outside the field, the point is given to the opposite team. To avoid the point, the defending team must try to catch the ball before it bounces on the floor. Once they have the ball in their hands, they immediately counter-attack on the same hand or change hand of the field. That's it. After a point, the defending team starts the new action from the end of the field where the point has been scored. The first pass is the number zero. Three is a special number. Holding the ball, players can do three steps, holding it no more than three seconds, and each team has three passes before shooting at the frame. Physical contact is not allowed and the defending team may not attempt to intercept the other team passes. That's all my friend, this is Chukbol. If you want to have more information, just follow the link in the description of the video. See you! <laughs>